Hey, how's it going everybody? This is GC Performance here back with another video. Today I have for you a brand new 2021. This is the your Scott Addict 30. Uh, this is the bicycle that's like a starting price point of $2,000 by Scott. And this is gonna be more along the lines of their endurance model. So the RC is gonna be a little bit more of their integrated stem and uh, handlebar situation going on. This is more of their entry level carbon road bike. And also uh, it's more of their endurance model. So it's a little bit more comfortable. They outfit it with the wider wheels, the wider tires on there. Um, but the reason why I want to show this bike off is because we just, one, we just got in. We haven't had a, a $2,000 bike, carbon fiber road bike in our store in the longest time. Two, um, the color looks amazing. It's a 2021. So I just kind of want to go over everything and, and talk about it because this color online it didn't look nearly as good as it did how this thing does in, in person man i mean this thing looks absolutely beautiful i'll go over all the features on there and everything but um i'll kind of go through uh the bike it's first but so this is the scott addict uh 30 retails for two thousand dollars comes spec with shimano tiagra two gears in the front 10 in the rear and this is going to be a compact chain ring so a 50 34 in the front and i think on the rear is a 28 11 28 um, so you got some climbing gears there, uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be. This is a a point that it kind of bothers me a lot whenever people do this. Whenever they're looking for a bike, and they're, they're getting into it, I know a lot of their friends always say. Though they always come in, they say, "Oh, my friend told me to get 105 or better," which is which is okay. Like yeah, definitely, if you if you can if you can afford that, you can go for it. Go for the 105. It's a nicer group of for sure. But in terms of shifting quality, this new Shimano Tiagra, where the cables are inside here and the they don't stick out like they used to right there. The new Shimano Tiagra, if you close your eyes and we adjust this thing right, it's it's very smooth the way it shifts. I mean, there really is no issue with it. The only downfall, I'll say, the con with this Shimano Tiagra is, is, uh, is that if you ever want to upgrade, like let's say you want to upgrade your cassette or upgrade your rear derailleur to 11 speed, like it's you have to upgrade the whole bike to a 11 speed stuff. Whereas like if you bought 105 a bike, then you could upgrade the derailleur to Durace and do piece by piece part by part the way you want to now if you're just looking for like and that's the problem is people come in here all the time they don't have the budget for it and they want to get a shimano 105 bike but they'll sacrifice and look at an aluminum bike with 105 and be like oh is this a better bike hell no i mean the components aren't making you faster it's a frame it's a technology uh this bike is gonna be way more comfortable compliant granted it's two grand so people are assuming it should come with a 105 when they see a one, uh, aluminum bike that's like 1400 bucks for 105 but the benefit you get to a carbon fiber frame it's night and day. So that's just my take on that topic. If you guys have any more questions, let me know down in the comments and, and if you ever have a Ranta issue. But, so it does come with Shimano Tiagra. These are their Synchros alloy wheels um, by Scott, and they come stock with Schwabel 700 by 28. These tires and this bike is super comfortable. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the most comfortable stock bikes I ever rode. Um, you can see the tire footprint out here is very wide. Minimal tire clearance on that. You can probably get a a 30 on there maybe uh this is a 28 stock and the reason why so the, the weight on this bike the reason why i waited to tell you guys now this bike this is a 54 medium of 54 this bike as is as you see in the picture right now came in at 19 pounds 11 ounces which i know is heavy it's super heavy it's really heavy but a lot of that weight is in this wheels and in the tires the tires are a heavier tire the wheels are a heavier wheel um you you buy this bike you upgrade the wheels on the road you're gonna have a great bike so let's get into the bike and the color of it it's kind of like this burgundy this matte burgundy all the way down the scott is in a matte black or carbon looking color it looks absolutely gorgeous um follow trim all the way up right here it splits two-tone you have the matte carbon all the way on the top and then you have this nice looking addict and that burgundy color that matte red color which looks great that's uh, just grease from the uh heads right there but looks amazing stem on here is a synchro synchros 2.0 this is again a scott stem and whenever you find stuff on scott bikes they are always with a t25 uh instead of the regular four millimeter allen key so a t25 the star tool a t25 there same on the bolts here handlebar is an alloy handlebar by synchros again so following the theme scott scott products um you do have the tiagra shimano tiagra hydraulic disc brakes on here so this is a shifter again very smooth you adjust these things right you're not gonna have any issues with it you'll have the bike you have the big old scott logo brand on the side the tiagra flat brakes right there um and then on top you got their scott saddle this is again a synchros this is called their tofino which again 
very comfortable bike. But yes, so this is their, I would say more of their endurance model. Usually the price points of these bikes are meant to be for, you know, a first time rider. They don't want to make it too aggressive. So when they design these frames, they put the bigger tires, they put the bigger wheels in there. You're going to get a really smooth ride with that carbon fiber frame. And then with the 700 by 28 tires and wheels, it's going to make a big difference. Um, and again, this, the head tube is going to be a little bit more taller than a normal, uh, let's say tarmac at a 54. You can definitely tell that this 54 head tube is pretty large for the size of this bike. But again, it's, it's to get people comfortable on the bike at first. And then as they want to get progressively faster and more aggressive, you have the option to lower some spacers or put a different stem on there if you want. But it is a bike just to get people, get their foot in the door and, um, and start riding. And for $2,000 for the way this bike looks and what you're getting for it is one heck of a deal. So I can't knock them off of that. Scott does a really good job with their marketing. Scott just does a really good job in colors in general. I'm really excited to get more of their bikes in stock. Hopefully I get some RCs in stock. I know you guys saw that video on the foil, the new 2021 foil. I can't wait to see that thing in stock here as well. This is a cool little tidbit right here. So this is their chain guard in case you drop a chain. You have a little piece of um, uh, alloy right here at the bracket so that we don't gnar up your carbon frame, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this color down in the comments, if you guys like it. If not, um, if you guys want to have any recommendations on bikes or anything you're really looking for, uh, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you guys are liking this content. And uh, I have a bunch more videos planned. I'm just, it's its tough to get everything. I, I get so overwhelmed and uh, not overwhelmed, just overexcited to film everything. I kind of want to post all these videos all at once. But uh, I, I still got to go to my buddy's place and get the Pinarellas. I want to get those four or five fours out here and do a review on those things. The Tour de France Day was great. The Tour 2, he, uh, Al Philippe won that. So Specialized coming strong. I like seeing Specialized bikes do well, uh, but yeah. New Tarmac's looking hot. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this color. Let me know um, what you guys want me to do in the future. If you guys can, please leave a like on the video. It helps me a lot. And uh, I thank you guys so much for everything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.